text me now 083 30 10 103. I'm very happy to say comedian Joe Rooney joins me now. How you doing, Joe? Hi, Carl. How's crack? I'm just thinking back, right, to Electric Picnic, right? And yeah. I was there on the Sunday, and before I was, I really enjoyed yourself uh, on stage there, but I saw you earlier yeah. on, but I, I didn't go up to you. Uh, yeah. You were in a tent buying some buns, right? Was I? <laughs> you, you are. Were, I, you, were you, you stalking me, were you? No, what I said, I left you alone, I'll tell you why, because you, you, <laughs> were, you were there, you were minding your own business, right? Yeah. And you were buying some stuff, you were looking at cakes and stuff, and these women were coming up to you, and yeah. they were saying, you were in Father Ted. Right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I said to Sandra, that's Joe Rooney. Uh, I'd like to go up and say hello to him, but he's busy with people and I'm not going to annoy him, so I left it. Ah, uh, well, you should have said hello. <laughs> but it was a good show. How are things going since? Uh, yeah, not too bad. Yeah, good, good. Uh, uh, grand, like I'm kicking around the country. Off to Galway tonight, to be honest. Yeah. Off to Galway. And tell me this, um, uh, on Killer Scully, people will know you from there as well. Uh, would you, uh, you know, in your own personal life, be quite friendly with Pat Short? Yeah, uh, I worked with Pat a lot. I was working with him when he was doing his own show, uh, before he did, well, before he went back with John. Um, about uh, five or six years, I was the, I would have uh, done the first half of the show and then he did his show uh, all over the country and uh, it was great. And then during that then we started shooting Killing the Scully, I think that's about uh, seven years ago now, I think. And um, he, uh, I was working with him, so I, I, I suppose uh, he had me in mind for a part and uh, it was a great experience then. I did uh, six years, six a series of that and um, just really good experience working with Pat as well he's a great actor you know a great comic actor so you learn a lot off him you know yeah and um, you look very comfy sitting at the bar in Kendall Scully you make me want to yeah. have a pint is that right yeah yeah I'll tell you what the first series we were got real pints we got real pints and uh, and uh, it turned out we would if you you know you normally you have to take uh, maybe six or seven takes of the same little sketch or a little bit oh. of dialogue and if you take a drink in the first take you have to take a drink in every one of them at the same time you know for continuity and uh, we were a little bit giddy after a while you know <laughs> uh, and then uh, the second series we started doing uh, the, I think they were putting a, it was filled up with Coca-Cola and with a Guinness head on it right uh, and uh, oh, that was worse because your your stomach would be in bits after that <laughs> <laughs> And uh, so then, uh, as the series went on, we just started to kind of take fake drinks. Unless it was the end of the day, it was coming towards the end of the day, that yeah. was grand. You could take a big swally then, you know. To celebrate, <laughs> because you could imagine some actors going for parts, uh, they might, questions they might ask, uh, you know, they're being interviewed and stuff. Have you got any questions? Well, are we using real drink? <laughs> it was a real drink. <laughs> it's the most important thing. Well, quite often you're, we'd be shooting at eight o'clock in the morning too, and yeah. sitting there in front of a pint of Guinness. It's, it's not really exactly what you want to have at eight in the morning, you know. And tell us, Joe, right here, from the acting side of things, separate from your, your stand-up comedy. Um, would there be any comparisons, uh, actually, the acting part? Any comparisons between Father Ted and Killer Scully? Uh, well, <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I mean, certainly not my character. Uh, but it's kind of strange, though, because Killing the Scully brought me back into the spotlight a lot. But it's and I, but it's still Father Ted that people people uh, uh, come up to me and ask me to do lines. I've only done one episode of Father Ted, and I did six series of Killing the Scully, and it's still people want me to say uh, to <laughs> say like, uh, "I'll be in in a minute." That kind of, you know, yeah. <laughs> or uh, Oasis or Blur. They come up to me and they say, "Who do you prefer, Oasis, Oasis or Blur?" You know? <laughs> yeah. But and, again, uh, when you're heading around the country, uh, Joe, just yourself in your own life, I'm sure you've gone into strange. When I say strange places, places you wouldn't be in normally. Like we all have pulled up and got petrol, or uh, gone into a shop to get a paper or something. And we might never be back there. I'm sure they've said to you, "Are you are you the guy?" Uh, yeah. yeah. It's funny, all right. Uh, yeah, people at petrol stations, <laughs> the people go, "Oh, you're a man," and then they always say, uh, "You should be driving a better car." <laughs> Is that what they say? Because years ago, uh, I was working in another station, um, and I was getting petrol somewhere in County Galway. I think it was Gort in County Galway. And a fella yeah. says to me, "I didn't even know who they were talking about." Right? A fella says to yeah. me, "Do you read the news on TG Car?" And I says, no, um, I don't. And uh, I was going to say, yeah, look at me car, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's just odd, like the strangest 
places to be, be recognised. I, I, I remember one time I was in a hotel in Cork and this old lady and she was really, like she was in her 90s I'd say and she, she said, I know you. She said, I have two DVDs, <laughs> Daniel O'Donnell and yours. And I, I don't know if that was a compliment or not, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, that, I know what you're saying, but you've got a gig coming up in the Midlands in Mount Melick, isn't that right, Joe? Yeah, in, in Mount Melick on next uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday the 28th, is it? Uh, Thursday the 29th. 9th, the Thursday 29th. I know more in, about this gig than you. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes, I'm not great with dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's uh, in the uh, Mount Malik Hall. Concert Hall, yeah. So. Concert Hall, that's right, yeah. What time's it on then? Cause I well, don't hold know on either. a second now. I'm going to find out everything. Will you just give me a second there, Joel? Don't go away. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's the Comedy I, Corp and it's presenting the Christmas Comedy Carnival and you're the man with special guests. So oh yeah, special guest. He's good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm the man. And uh, uh, you can get the tickets through uh, the pub, isn't it? It could be now as well as that, right? Um, it's on at eight. You mightn't be on <laughs> at eight. You might have to be just wait for the special guest. So just yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Special guest is brilliant. So do come and see special guest. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's it. I'm looking forward to that. I'm because I'm uh, straight after after I do Mount Malik, uh I'm going off to Dubai to do two gigs. So, so it's a, it's a rock and roll lifestyle. Mount Malik to Dubai. That's some combination. Come here. You're in yeah. Dubai. Um, is there an Irish comedy club there? Yeah, there's a, a place called McGettigan's, and they uh, they. Uh, fly over Irish comics. I presume I'd say it'll be mostly Irish audience. So yeah, probably uh, ex Brits and Scottish as well. Yeah, and uh, I'm doing a couple of gigs. I'm staying for the week, but I'm only doing two gigs. Um, so I'm just going to hang around a bit. Maybe I'll buy some gold and, and bring it back. <laughs> Do go to the Seven Star Hotel and um, all yeah. that type of thing. The Burj Well, I believe there's an indoor uh, ski skiing um, slope. There is. I actually saw it. I didn't go on it. I was too nervous. I had coffee right beside it. You can look through a window and see it. And uh, is it... Co Do you have to put on your coat and stuff? Is it cold mm. in, in the... Yeah. I presume you, because they have snow. It, ha it can't be warm. Yeah, you get the whole rig out, right? You get the whole rig yeah. out. From what I can see now, I just was a, yeah. a, an observer, a kind of nervous observer, and you get the, the whole rig out and the slope is there and it's behind glass. So people in a coffee shop nearby in this shopping centre can see. Sitting there roasting, watching yeah. you. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So oh, it, was kind uh, of, it was different. I, I'm going to give it a go. Are you? Carl, I'm not going to be a, a Namby Pamby like you. I'm going to get in there and do it. Well, come here. I'd be, I'd be interested to know what you think of Dubai and that. It's great. That's kind of celebrity-wise, you know. I'm flying out to Dubai to do a gig. That's cool, isn't it? That sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why I, that's why I mentioned it, actually. Yeah. And now that I have you on the phone, because I never, I never checked this out before that, now that I have you on the phone, have you anything to give away? Have I anything to give away? Yeah, I don't mean your I... car or your house or anything. Do you have a DVD out at the moment? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, no, I don't have one out at the minute. Oh. Uh, it's, it, I have an old one, but I'm sure no one wants it. <laughs> you should bring out a DVD, Amy, and when you do give well, us I'm some actually copy. going to do, I was talking to a fella yesterday about doing a, uh, a DVD, uh, doing, but doing it as a, a road trip across Europe towards Poland for the Irish. So basically going through Irish, uh, doing gigs as I go in Irish bars across Europe. That's, that's that's my plan, and to get to Poland and and finish it there. Um, just maybe a, a DVD with a difference, you know. It would be, and just do the kind of a warmer part of it. Could be the Dubai gig. You could have that as well. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, it's Dubai, a pleasure Dubai talking to you. Dubai aren't in the Europe, the Euro 2012, though. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, look, at I just thought that because yeah. if you had DVDs, we'd give them away here. And because we, uh, we were a fan of you, we saw you in action in, um, down at the Electric Picnic, and it was uh, pretty funny. So, and there's tons yeah. of comedians there, so you have to be, you know, you have to know yourself as, as a word. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll give away a fiver. A fiver? Is it a fi <laughs> yeah. in euro? Five euro. I'll, gi I'll give that away. Uh, and uh, I'll have to wait till I get down there to give the person the fiver. No, I'll tell you what you do. No, don't do that, right? I have an idea, Joe. But this week, yeah. go to Dubai. Yeah. Right? And bring us back something from Dubai. I will. That's what I'll do. I'll bring back a, a veil or something or a, yeah, or a yashmak. I don't even know what a yashmak is. But, no, yeah. something, we can, something we can give away. 
Dublin giveaway. I will do that. I will. I, I promise you, I will do that. I'll bring back something from Dubai, and uh, that will be now after I do the gig in Mount Melik. But still, I, I'll, I'll bring it back. Yeah. Zero back. So uh, it's Mount Melik next Thursday night for anyone in the Midlands wants to go along. Thursday the 29th of December, Mount Melik Concert Hall. It's Joe Rooney and special guest. Joe, it's a pleasure to chat to you. Nice to talk to you, Carl. Thanks for thanks for the uh, having me on air. I'll tell you what. I'll talk to you next year. Yeah. Okay. Talk Good to luck. you next year, Carl. Thanks bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.